the fourth race on day two is going to be the Cathal Ryan Novice Hurdle. So a grade one event. <coughs> and the runners are going to be as follows. So it's over two and a half miles. David Hoodie sends Alcudia for Leon Van Rensburg's Bomb Theory. Joshua Sutherland's Emotional. And Huntsville Picnic for Vinnie Gerard. Lord North for Punchable Racing. Mohea Meluyun for Matt Cooper. Punto Sam for Darren Thompson. Southern Optimist for Craig Beckwith. David Robertson's Substitute. Theoretically speaking for Joshua Sutherland. First date for David Hooley. Leon Van Rensburg's Mini Fortune Time. And Petroglyph Raven for Pedrick Hogan. Make up 13 novices. To go to this two and a half miles here. It's another hurdle event. Starter's got him away. We've had four hurdle events so far today. Looking forward to some chases. I know later in the week, well, not later in the week, later today, we've got the Irish Grand National and the Scottish Grand National, where Martin will be calling them home for you. But back to the Cathal Ryan novice hurdle. They're through the first of the ten flights, and it's Mohea Malune from Matt Cooper that bowls off into the front. It's a three-length advantage from the rest of the pack. One really wide here is Southern Optimist, the one nearest to us, for Craig Beckwith. May get affected as they come into the second. We'll skip over that a little bit slower. The back was first date. But it's Mohia Malyun from Huntsville Picnic and Lord North. And theoretically speaking, up against the round and Petroglyph Raven substitute. Back towards the rail is emotional and bomb theory. A little bit wider is the first of the Hooli horses. Alcudia, Punto Sound, and Mini Fortune Time. And just the one at the rear, our back marker is first date as they go over the third. So they all clear. The one that Punto Sound didn't get over it particularly well. It's a little bit wider. He's probably six, seven wide. I'm not sure if this is the bit on the course that punches down that causes the problem. No, it's later on, but it's Mohea Malune that leads. A four length advantage now from Huntsville Picnic and Lord North. That wide is substitute. Then, theoretically speaking, an emotional for Josh Sutherland and Petrogriff Raven. A bit wider is Southern Optimist. Then, the two Van Rensburg horses, Bomb Theory and Mini Fortune Time. Wider still is Punto Sound. Oh, flattened that one. And first date at the rear. So, Darren Thompson looking for a quick fire double. We'll need a little bit more from Punto Sound. Go past the winning post with a complete circuit to go. We'll go off out around the side of the course here. Punches down. Big flat and wide as they go over the fifth. And again, the two at the rear didn't get over it particularly well. Punto sound at first date. Off and on the bridle. But Mohia Malyun. Certainly setting the pace. Be a true run race with a mile and a quarter still to go. From Huntsville Picnic, which has come onto that rail in second. Cudi has moved up now, a little bit wide emotionals off the rail as they go over the six. They will clear that, good jump out wide by Southern Optimist. The two still at the rear, first eight in Punto Sound. With a mile left to travel, it's still Mohea Malune. But Matt Cooper that leads us. A line of horses, take your pick. And they're just followed through by the two. Van Rensburg horses, Mini Fortune Time, Bomb Theory, and Petroglyph Raven for Pedro Hogan. And first eight in Punto Sound have got much closer now. So Mayhem Malyun goes over the seventh. That's four from home. So another three flights and another six and a half furlongs to run. So Mayhem Malyun. Going right back to the pack. Here comes Huntsville Picnic. Thinks it's too slow. And Huntsville Picnic heads our long time leader. And these two, as well as Lord North. Bit of racing rooms, they get to the eighth, so it's three from home with just two to take now. May Haya Malu, Huntsville Picnic, emotional looks rather ominous up on the outside. Lord North already off the bridle, theoretically speaking, is trying to pick up. First eight starts to make his move now, but it's Huntsville Picnic just by a nose from Mohaya Malyun. Emotional starting to make a move now, still first eight. Lord North, theoretical speaking, got to make a, a, a dash from there. Petroglyph Ravens trying to pick up now, as well as Bomb Theory and Punto Sound. So up front, Huntsville. 
Huntsville Picnic. They go over the penultimate. And it's Huntsville Picnic that's got a length advantage from out wide. Petroglyph Raven running on really well. Emotional needs to pick up a little bit. Mini Fortune Time and Punto Sound and First Date. But Huntsville Picnic's got the run of them all. As they swing right-handed now to line up for the judge with just a quarter of a mile left to run. It's Huntsville Picnic from Petroglyph Raven. Mini Fortune Time and Emotional and Punto Sound. Lord North and Bomb Theory have got to pick up from where they are. But it's Huntsville Picnic. We come down to the last. It's going to get tired now. And it's Huntsville Picnic tiring up as Mini Fortune Time gets down to the last with Petroglyph Raven. A good jump there. Half a furlong left to run. Mini Fortune Time thinks he's got it in the bag. Starts to ask for something now. Mini Fortune Time takes it from Petroglyph Raven. Emotional with her. Put to sound is full. Theoretically speaking, or Mini Fortune Time might have been time might have been fifth there. So a win there for Leon van Rensburg. Horse looked like he had plenty left. Didn't ask for much. So takes it with Mini Fortune Time. Well done. Petroglyph Raven for Patrick Hogan was second. Emotional for Josh Sutherland was third. Punto Sound for Darren Thompson got up for fourth. And Leon van Rensburg also had fifth with Bomb Theory.